Hello and welcome to this X8R video, demonstrating the repair of the mechatronic unit fitted to VAG gearboxes. It is a common fault on these vehicles for the accumulator to fail. This melts to a cast block which is cast too thinly and fails due to the high pressure. This causes leaks and causes vehicle faults. This unit is under high pressure. We recommend checking the manufacturer's directions for removing pressure from the system before disassembling. Once this has been done, using a 5mm Allen key socket, remove this screw. This allows you to drain down the transmission fluid from the unit. Remove this slowly and take care to catch any fluids which escape. This repair can often be carried out on the vehicle, provided there is space for this sunk cover to be removed. If not, it can be done on the bench. To remove this cover, using a 10mm socket, firstly remove this nut. And then remove the screw. It is a good idea to number these and lay these out on the bench so you can reinstall them in the correct order, as the sizes and shapes do vary. And then lift off this bracket, remembering the orientation for reinstall. Underneath the bracket is another bolt to be removed. Again, this is a 10mm. Repeat this process for this bracket. Again, remove and remember the orientation for reinstall. And remove the two studs from underneath. Using a T30 Torx bit, remove these two screws as shown. And again, using a 10mm socket, remove this stud and the final stud on this corner. Ensuring all retainers are removed, we can then lever off this cover with a flat-bladed screwdriver. Just be careful of the gasket when removing this. And this cover can be lifted off. If you lift this off with the gasket, just so it's seated correctly for reinstall, inspect this for any damage. You can see here the accumulator that fails. It fails where this marries up to the cast block. This is cast too thinly and cracks, causing the faults. Inspect this closely to see if you can see a crack or any escaping fluid. This is an indication that this is no longer under pressure. Although the hydraulic fluid has been drained down, this unit can still be under pressure, so we recommend only disassembling this if you are sure there is no pressure left in the unit. Using a T70 Torx bit, remove this accumulator. And lift away. You can see here more fully where the block has cracked, causing fluid to escape and depressurizing the system. If it has cracked fully, like this, make sure you locate all the pieces of metal which have escaped. Using a T30 Torx, remove these three screws. And retain these for the next step. You can then install our replacement accumulator base. You can note this O-ring, which marries up to the block. 
we recommend just the tiniest amount of grease on this o-ring, just to assist with the initial sealing of the o-ring to the block to stop it binding. Just a tiny amount, then we can mount this in position. We then locate this within the block, aligning it to the screw holes. Check that's aligned correctly and then we can mount using those original screws. Tighten the three screws. We can then screw our accumulator into this base. Again, this has an O-ring which it seals on, so we want to apply just a tiny amount of grease to this to aid with the initial sealing. Screw this into position. And then fully tighten, using our tool included. This fits into a notch on the top of the accumulator. Then you can twist this to tighten fully. The unit can then be reassembled. Refasten the drain screw here. The unit can then be topped up with hydraulic fluid using the breather. This completes the repair. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us on 01843 446643 or you can email us on sales at x8r.co.uk.